Hello everyone. I hope all of you are okay. And I have to understand that all of you and know what is Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a web with millions. When I say million is, if I remember correctly, 58 millions of questions with many, many, many answers about technical thing, about uh, IT, about uh, infra, about developing. There are many people who are there writing answers to people who has a question. And it's a super famous web. You need to imagine that even this company, they had 800 people working there in 2022, and now there are almost 600 people working in, in Stack Overflow. So there are people. It's a, it's, a, it's a good business. The idea of this tool is that you answer questions, then your level of seniority inside the, the application is, is higher, and then the people, when you answer something, they're going to say, okay, I trust more in you because it looks like you're a, <laughs> you're a, good, a good guy answering questions. But... Why I'm talking about the Stack Overflow today? I'm talking about the Stack Overflow because, as most of you know, Google first and then OpenAI has a, a deal signed with uh, Stack Overflow to use the 50 million of questions and answers, all of those answers, to train the models. And to train the model directly fetching the database and introducing this database in, in, in those models. Why, why is this happening? Why, why, why the model needs this information? The model needs this information because there is no way that a model is able to answer something if they don't know what he needs to answer. And I say he or she or it need to answer. So then they need this information. And the problem is when you go to Google, you need to search for all the pages. Imagine that you need to go to all these pages in a Stack Overflow and then you need to go one by one and introducing the data. It's much better. If you have a database with all this information and even in order how many questions we have, what person is making this uh, this answer, so then you can do in a better way the information, you can filter the bad answers and then you can send to your model something that is very good. And this is going to be very good for the models, but okay, there are many questions now. Is this going to be very good for the humans? Is this going to be good for the people who is answering? Because as you maybe know too, they tried to remove some of the questions that they made, but now the application, the tool does not allow them to remove what they wrote. So they lose the, the, the control of their own answers. Why? Because when you log in in a page and you click accept the condition, you accept many things. And this is a problem because now uh, when you ask to ChatGPT or you ask to Gemini, maybe he is answering with something that you provide to the community, but you don't want to provide to the LLM model. And, okay, what can we do? Because this it is how it is. In whatever case, there is a Google agreement, there is an OpenAI agreement, but there are many other cases. For example, I don't know if you read that there is a case with Pulumi because Pulumi is auto-generating with AI a number of questions and answers. And the problem is that most of these questions and answers automatically generated are wrong. And the problem that with this case with Plumi is that Google start to put these questions and answers at the top of the search when you make some kind of questions about Plumi. And the problem is that most of those questions and answers was wrong. <laughs> and this generated the problem to us. Okay, if Google is telling that this answer from whatever question that is coming to Plumi, the, the first one is some questions and answers, sorry, that is wrong. How can we trust now that our models are going to answer in a in a in a correct in a correct way? So what is telling to me that okay, if I am this person who is answering to this uh, Stack Overflow, can I be a bad guy? Can I go there and try to hijack all these LLM models uh, writing stupid stupid questions? I don't know. The problem is that, for example, with these themes that are happening day by day, the people are using less and less Google, and it's something that you don't see that, okay, no, 90% of the people is not using Google to do this kind of search. But day by day, there are more people and more people not doing that. And you can see, for example, in what I was telling to you before. In 2022, there were 800 people working in Stack Overflow, and today there are only 600 people. There are less people using Stack Overflow. They need to make money, and the way to make money is to sell to the one who is going to kill you. Because at the end, the person who is going to kill Stack Overflow, for sure that is going to be Google, and for sure that is going to be uh, OpenAI. But they need money, and the only way that they have is, is that. I don't know if it was a good movement, because at the end, you're losing now 
totally control of everything that you are. And as soon as they get the data, I have to remind that they, they don't need Stack Overflow more, you know, that's all. It's over, Stack Overflow. There is something called Stack Overflow AI, you know, where they're trying to, to be there. But the problem here is, if I have a, a good UI, a good UI where I can tell, hey, I have a problem in Python. This is my this is my error in Python. So could you find the, the error and could you give me a solution, a good code without this error? And I am able to get the, the correct answer, you know. How can I go to Google today? And I can paste uh, a, a code and says, give me the answer pointing to a web. Because maybe there is no web. And this is a problem because the good thing with OpenAI and ChatGPT is that it's not giving to me a web as an answer and dig yourself inside this web to find the error, to find the solution, to find your problem. It's giving to me the solution. So, and then this is why we can see that the stack overflow is today, a tool that is going to die. So, and will die in, in one year, in six months, in two years, but it's something that is going to die, unless that they change. And Google, in the way that this is today, is something that is going to die too. But the problem is that if Google change the model, they need to change the model to introduce publicity inside the answers. So it's, it's a lovely battle these days between the, the two environments because as you see internet today, is something that you need to write and you need to click and enter and then something appear and then you need to read. And day by day, this is changing because now we don't need to go to a web page. There are components who are reading this information, this data. Even they pay for this data, as you can see with this agreement with the Stack Overflow. And then with this information that they already paid, are generating answers. So maybe now the, the business is not going to be in generate a web page. Maybe the business now is to generate good data and sell this data to these, to these companies. I don't know what will bring us the future. But I hope that this week you enjoy a lot. See you next time. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.